Yes guys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team play review video. It's a video on the brand new George Best. I know he wasn't he wasn't in the game last year, but the previous years he was. But I've always been on PlayStation, so I've never got to use him obviously until this year. I've always wanted to use him. I've been excited to use him and um yeah, this is my honest opinion and review on this card. It's only his first card, so baby icon if that's what you'd like to call it, and then you've got the middle card which is a ninety and then the ninety three, which is probably amazing. But yeah, um so looking at his in game stats, he's got ninety two acceleration plus four, because I've got Hunter on him. Which makes him very fast to be fair, ninety six acceleration, but in game he don't feel like he's that fast. He feels fast, but these players like Neymar, Bale, Mbappe, Hazard, all these players feel quicker in my opinion. He just doesn't feel amazing. Um his shot power's good, his finishing's good, so he's got eighty nine finishing plus two, eighty nine shot power plus four, which is obviously very good. Good penalties, like his stats, if you actually look at them, are very good. And then he's got 80 jumping in the physicality, which is great as well for a card like this, which is only 5'9". Um, he's not very strong, which I can tell, but it's not a major issue for me. It's just the, the acceleration, the pace in game. And he just doesn't feel like that player that you've paid 1.2 million for. He just doesn't have that spark, if you know what I mean, that you get with most other players like Eusebio, players like that. He just he don't feel different. Like He don't feel like an icon, almost. But anyway, he's got 86 stamina, which I do feel like is a problem. I know Mbappe's only got 84 and Hazard's only got 86, but it's like they've made this card, whatever, like 80 years old, whatever age he would be if he was still alive. Um, but he just feels very slow and like when he gets to the 70th minute, he feels really tired and his stamina bar goes lower down than Mbappe's, everyone like that. But yeah, I've played nine games with him, scored nine goals and one assist. So it's not a bad return, obviously, but it isn't an amazing return. It's just bang average. Like, I feel like I could genuinely put any other player. I could just put anyone there, really, like Neymar, Bale, and they'd have the same return, if not better. And for 1.2 million for a card like this, I just don't feel like it's worth it. So if you've got the coins, I recommend you to try him. And if you don't like him, maybe sell him on. Sell him on. But if you don't have a lot of coins and you can't use this card and you're thinking of saving up for it in, in the long run... It isn't really worth it, to be honest. Yeah, so I paid 1.2 million for him. And he's now dropped almost. He's basically the same price, but... Yeah, I got a good deal, I thought, at the time. But yeah, this is the team I play him in. And Hazard, to be honest, I would choose Hazard or my Mbappe over this card. Like, I feel like Hazard and Mbappe is both better than him. He just he really isn't great. So I'm most likely I'm going to sell him on. I was going to include gameplay in this, I was going to play a game, but I thought the video would end up too long. But yeah, you're just going to have to trust me on that, that he really isn't amazing. So I don't recommend. Uh, if I had to give him a rating, I'd give him a 6.5 out of 10. Because I just don't think he's worth it. I really don't. Um, but yeah, I was going to go through a few other players I recommend you should get over this guy as a striker. Um, so even players like Trezeguet, he's slow. But he's he's a great card. I know he's different. He's a complete different type player. But someone like that, you're going to get a better return. Because he's an actual striker. Whereas George Best, you're just not going to get that return. Um, even players like Lewandowski, Michael Owen, all these players, they're all going to give you a better return. Um, obviously R9, without a doubt. Butcher Aguenio. And then Eusebio, the card that I did really, really like when I had him. And I, I kind of want him back. But yeah, he's, he's a lot of coins. 1.2 million is a hell of a lot, obviously, but for an icon of his stature, um, if that's the right word, nature, stature, I don't even know. For a, for a card of his ability, 1.2 million is is very cheap, really, for him. But he just, I don't, I don't recommend at all. 4-star weak foot, obviously great. 4-star skill move, great as well. But I'm most likely going to sell him on. Um, I'm going to have another review coming out later on in the week, potentially tomorrow, on this Makalele card. I won't say anything on him yet, but yeah, I'm going to have a review coming out on him. Um, let me know if you want any other player reviews, and I'll uh, just leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe for more as well. Like the video. Can we hit like 20 likes on this video? That would be great. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, if you were looking to buy this card, this is this will give you a good idea of what the card's like, and whether and hopefully it's made your mind up on whether you want this card or not. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more, and peace out.